Yeah, today it is good. So today I'm going to show you how you can make your own Navajo flashcards at home using Canva. Um, Canva is the one I use to create my flashcards and I really like it. It's a really good program, um, especially for personal use. Um, there is a paid version and there's a free version of Canva, um, but you can, but the free version, you're capable of making your own flashcards. So I'm gonna, so let's make some flashcards. Alright, so first thing I'm gonna do is create a design. And I'm gonna put in a custom size. 11. Yeah, I'm gonna do 11 by 8.5. Which is just the size of a regular page document. But in landscape mode. Okay, so the, one of the cool things about camera is it has graphics and templates you can use. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to design, which is already on, and I will, I'm going to type in flashcards. And, um, see, so you, you have already, like, lots of different design templates already that you can use as is if you choose for your own personal use. Um, well, one thing I want to mention is if you're using a free account then you would see this crown and pro symbol right here. So that means that you can't necessarily use those or, or you can't use those unless you have the paid version. So if I were to click on it this would come up and says, well, if you want to use this, then you can try it for 30, free for 30 days. And yeah, so, but we just want to use the free version. So we're going to go back and we're going to find something that we like. That we, that is free. So right here, I don't see any paid, any, I'm sorry, any um crown or pro symbol. So I'm going to click on this one. And, well, before I do that, I just want to say, like, if there is something in here, like, see, like, we have body parts in here already free. And this one is free. So I could just click on this, and I could use it. I could print it out, and it's already made. And then all I have to do is know which, know the Navajo words to these body parts. Um, you can also type in like the Navajo words for them if you so choose let me do that one <laughs> there you go for example and then yep so that'd be pretty simple you can just type in the Navajo words for these or you don't have to have you know any words at all if you don't want or you could keep the English in there that's totally fine as well so however you want to do it, as long as like you are saying the Navajo words with your family, that's like the most important. But the Navajo words, you know, I think they add a little bit more to it. It looks more fun, fun and unique as well. Kind of same. All right. So now, let, if we want to create our own flashcards, like say when um, we're looking for certain flashcards and you don't really see a free template that's maybe already created for you then we can just pick anything basically and then we can add our own images in there so that we can pick these same ones and then we can change the image but let's find this one for you that one might be so let's see like okay let's i like this one so i'm gonna say i'm just gonna add another page over here and then I'm going to click on this let's say I like this flashcard template style and I'm going to create my own and I'm going to erase all these so I can put in my own images so let's say I'm looking for I don't know, just say I'm looking for animals for example there we go, I'm going to type in what I need to find and then they'll give you graphics or photos, so you can choose what you think is best. Um, 
I like graphics. And once again, make sure you pick one that doesn't have this crown and pro symbol. So I like this one. This one looks really cute. So you just click on it. It's going to go onto the page. Then all you have to do is resize it. Place it where you want. Let's say I'm looking for a dog. Hmm. Oops, so there's one I like that's free. Maybe this one. This one looks kind of cute too. Alright, let's say you like fish. Maybe this one. This one's free to use. What else can we do? Let's just say sheep. There's another one. There's a cute one right there. What else? We can do maybe a horse. And try a cow. Um, what else? Maybe a duck. Hmm. Maybe this one. All right, we got one more. So. Hmm, I don't know, it's going to be a mouse. Is there a cute mouse on here? <laughs> Let's be. Okay. Alright, there we go. Here is our animal flash course that I'm going to teach my kids. <laughs> so... There you go. So yeah, so whatever you need, um, I think Canva is a great option. You can easily make flashcards, do what you need to do. You can type in your Navajo words. Yeah, you will have to do a little bit of the your own research on how to spell them. So you'll do a little more work on front if you're going to put the Navajo text in there. But like I said, I think it just adds a little bit of, like, unique. I mean, obviously it's unique and it's fun when you add the Navajo words in there. It just looks kind of cool. Um, yeah, so in camera you can, I believe, Add the the Navajo font in here. Um, so I do have it on my on my paid Canva account, uh, and on I think it's I'm not really sure, but maybe it's only with Mac or iOS. But I'm not really sure about PC. But if I hold down the key, like for example I, I press it and I hold it down, these this comes up. And then all I have to do is just punch in the number to, you know, create my unique um, letters. So, but that's for me. Yeah, so feel free to play around with it, get a feel for it. It may take a little bit more time up front to. Okay, I can't remember how to spell this one. <laughs> um, I think it was like this. I'm not quite sure how this one's spelled again. Um, yeah, it, take, it might take just a little bit extra time for you to get used to how where to find things, but except for basic stuff. Um, 
it's, it's pretty easy. Okay, so let's just say that's all your, there's all your Navajo flashcard words for animals. So all I have to do next is go to the share button up here, download, and I, I usually download as a PDF, and then you can choose to download all your pages. So let's just say I only want to download this page and I'll click done and then I'll download and then you can save it on whatever on your computer and that's it and all I have to do is print it out and cut them out and get started with your family start learning some Navajo anyway I hope this video was really helpful um if you guys have any other questions feel free to comment down below I will add another, I will add, um, I made a video on how to create flashcards in Google Docs if maybe you're not sure about using Canva and you can f feel free to go check that out, it will be in the description. Um, I also have flashcards <laughs> that um, on my website and I will put that in the, in the description below so if you're not really tech savvy, if you you know, feel like you, know, you don't really have not a lot of time to make your own flashcards, you can go ahead and check out what I have on my website and I'll have the link in the description. But anyway, hope this video was helpful and uh, I hope to see you in the next one.